Good afternoon, Josh. Nico from Cliff Jones RV here in Sealy, Texas. Want to make this video for you to show you this awesome Winnebago Micro Mini 2306 BHS. So I do have the slide in right now just to show you what, key, what you can expect when the slide is in. So still able to get in through here. If you have anything stored up on the bunks, you have access to that. I have the door open there and you have this little netting to get to there too. Full access to the bathroom. And this one, Bago, has an awesome bathroom, big shower, plenty of room in there. You do have full access to the fridge as well. But just want to show you quickly what that's like when you have the slide in. Your controls are conveniently located right by the entrance. Nice thing about the Winnebago's, they do have a power function of a safety feature to where you can turn the power to the slide off and on. So there you go. You do have a privacy curtain here as well for the Murphy bed. So this RV is about 25 and a half feet long, seven feet wide, 10 and a half feet high, about 4,500 pounds empty and 6,000 pounds gross vehicle weight, so it's super easy to tow. And you have room to sleep six in here. It does have the single bunks in the back. You do have a reading light and USB chargers up top, as well as in the back there. From the outside, this one does fold up to give you storage. Multifunction radio here. You can play music just inside, just outside, or both. And Insignia TV, which is a pretty nice, you know, name brand TV. Wireless phone charger here. Main uh, heat is from your furnace here that works on propane. These have great insulation, so that will keep it plenty warm. Power connections. Here we have the dinette. What's great about this one, it's a dream dinette, so it's super easy to go back and forth from a bed to a dinette. It's just got a little mechanism that locks. You bring it up and you have room for, for, for seating. Storage underneath with the doors here. Here we have the Murphy bed, super easy to convert. And you also have storage underneath there. Really great use of space. Storage here, as well as on this side. So just lift the bottom of the couch, it rolls down, pull this, and you have access to the bed there. We also have a ward on each side. And on this side, underneath, we do have the nightstand with USB chargers and regular outlets on both sides, as well as well as a shelf for storage there. Here we have a window that opens here for cross ventilation. All your main controls are here. Awning, 12 volt tank heaters. This does have a heated and enclosed underbelly from the furnace, as well as uh, these pads that just turn on as long as you have battery power. We have the water pump, so if you go off grid, just turn that pump on and the fresh tank will circulate water with the pump. Nice thing about the water heater on Winnebago, say a propane and electric, but you can actually control it from here. So if you want propane, just hit that button. If you want electric, just hit that button. Whereas on others, you have to go outside and switch it off and on uh, from the outside. Monitor your tank here, fresh tank here, black tank here, gray tank here, light switches there. The rest of the lights turn off and on individually on the light itself. Grounded power connection there, USB ports here, little extension for the countertop there. Residential style faucet, one piece under mount stainless steel sink. We also have a window right here. This is a standard blind for fire safety. Very nice European style cabinetry here. We do have a convection microwave in these as well. 
Honestly, I know a lot of my customers prefer this over an oven. It gives you uh, more space here, is more convenient and saves you on propane. Also, we have a light for the range hood and a fan that actually works at Wolven outside. This is one of the smallest campers we have with a three burner cooktop. So the front one is for boiling, rear two are for simmering. This insert here gives you additional space. Fancy blue lights and the knobs there. Storage here. Converter is here and breaker box. Here we have the storage in the kitchen. Storage underneath the sink there. I showed you the fridge. This is a propane electric fridge on this model. Coming back to the bathroom, I have the fan on now. It is a hot Texas day right now. So I have the front door open and this on that gives you great cross ventilation, circulates the air. Really awesome storage here for linens, toiletries. Awesome glass shower. I'm about six feet tall. Even with my shoes and my hat on, plenty of room here with a skylight. You can see the bathroom. Here we have the medicine cabinet, stainless steel sink, light switch, power connections, storage underneath the sink there. Also, this is a ducted AC as well. One of the smallest RVs we have with ducted AC. So you can actually open and close each one and turn it where you want it. This is a 15,000 BTU AC as well. And the thermostat is right here. Top window opens for ventilation. We have the store outside that I'll show you. I'll just give you an overview here. There you go, step outside now. So I know a lot of my customers, as soon as they walk into a Winnebago, they can see the quality difference on the outside. That definitely shows as well. So we have a screen door with a little door here so you can keep bugs out. Nice thing about the thin shade is that it actually comes in the window instead of having to pay for it later like on others. So this is pretty dark, but at night you definitely want that close for privacy. Then this is a Winnebago Micro Mini 2306 BHS. This is an aluminum frame camper. Great thing about Winnebago is that they do have an extreme weather package. So that's radiant foil in the roof and the ceiling, uh, excuse me, in the floor. So that reflects heat during the summer and traps it during the winter. Uh, these use block foam insulation and they're actually laser cut for a perfect fit. With Winnebago, you do have a one year limited bumper to bumper and a three year limited structural. It does have a power tongue jack up front, so you can raise and lower the RV just like this. And you have a light here to see early morning, late at night. You have two propane tanks here. If we can earn your business, Josh, we will install the battery, uh, fill the propane, do a full make ready, uh, wash it, detail it, and give you an hour walk through to our technicians to show you how everything works. This is the pass-through storage, really great storage on this camper. This does use magnets instead of clips, so you don't have to worry about them uh, becoming brittle and breaking over time. This one does feature electric stabilizers as well. There you go. You also have an RVQ quick connect here for propane. If you want to add a propane grill, you just hook up there with like a $20 hose you can buy online and you can hook up any propane grill that will work off your tanks up front. Aluminum tread steps, very nice, uh, lightweight, resistant to rust, extra large door handle. It's got three folding positions. This is also made with Asdel behind the fiberglass. So what most brands use is Luon, which is basically over glorified plywood. Um, one problem with that is when you see older campers where the fiberglass bubbles off, uh, that is because of the Luon backer with Asdel, you have less than 1% chance of that happening. It's also stronger, lighter, better for the environment and gives you better sound insulation. Here we have the water heater, fresh tank fill, uh, tandem independent 
axles here, off-road tires, access for fridge maintenance, power connection, coaxial connection, black tank flush. So whenever you dump your black tank, all you have to do is make sure the valve's open, hook up a water hose, and it cleans out the tanks for you with built-in nozzles. Big electric awning with white LED lights. Here we have the controls for the rear stabilizers, LED tail lights, much brighter and safer than the incandescent bulbs, so practically last a lifetime. This is ready for a Voyager camera. Nice thing about the Voyager is that you get video and audio. Coming up top here, we can see the solar panel is up there. It's 100 watts, comes built in from the factory. This is a TPO roof. It's a big upgrade versus uh, rubber. It's more UV resistant. If you ever walk on your roof, you're less likely to slip because it's a coarse material. It's felt and vinyl. It does not chalk and make your RV dirty. And it's more UV resistant. We also have outside shower here with hot and cold water, spare tire, a bumper so you can put your sewer hose in there, cable and satellite prep, 30 amp power here, city water here. This is the bunk. You just fold that up and you have all that storage there. On this particular model, we have the gray and black dumps right here. So you just need one hose. Your valves are right there. Furnace exhaust is here. Here's the slide, it's a Schwintec slide. Very popular type of slide on lightweight campers. Other side of the storage with a battery disconnect here. Okay, Josh again, it's Nico from Cliff Jones RV in Sealy. I'd love to earn your business. Let me know what I can do if you have any questions or concerns. Thanks again.